I need to build a spare tire mount for the spare and I've thrown a can of spray paint in there for scale so that you can get an idea for the size of this thing. It's 40 inches tall, weighs about 300 pounds by my best guess at the moment. So let me show you the plan. That. So I bought all the steel for the spare tire mount which Steven designed for me and uh, that'll be the hub that the, the uh, wheel mounts to and these parts down here will bolt into the frame rails of the truck and those will uh, lead up the back of the departure angle and then that section there will be bolted, not bolted, welded to the top of those two posts. So although I have this uh, in CAD, I wanted to be double sure, so I took a piece of cardboard and smacked it into the ends of the bolts and notched around various rivets and, and parts I need to go around. And rather than cutting into steel, I'm going to make a quick wooden template. So it doesn't look that complex, but it actually does take into account some some things on the top and bottom that are difficult to explain. But anyway, I made it from Baltic birch, gave it a nice sanding. Uh, but before I go and test it, I'm going to give it a quick coat of this Verithane Gel Cabernet stain. I'll give it a real nice, nice color there. Well, that turned out just fantastic. So that's where we need to bolt up. Avoid those rivets on the top and bottom. Give her a try. Oh yeah, fits perfect. And the color is wonderful. Okay, so this is where the uh, rigid template comes into play. Uh, and well, you can see that's the material I need to move. Then I went over to Todd's and he helped me turn out some bushings. These will be slid inside the tubing where it mounts to the frame and that will keep the bolts from collapsing the tubing when they're cinched down really tight. Four of those bushings needed to have a flat face cut onto them so that they could be put down against the bottom there uh, and not interfere with the flange. Well, if you can't weld, you should at least be able to grind. And then uh, this will be the hub stand in. I'll drill holes through the back and put uh, the bolts through, tack weld them on the back. That is some hard steel. Then a well timed text message from Braden. He had some free time and offered to do some welding for me, so we got to work like and welded work. everything up. We started welding right at the spare tire and then worked our way down the frame towards the bumper and to the uh, mounts, which I bolted right to the frame of the truck. That way, any misalignment could be taken up right at those final welds. So we tack welded that in place and then brought it back inside and finished out all the welds. Yeah, 
So there it is all welded up and I've got one coat of pour 15 on there. These sections that bolt inside the frame rails are a blind hole essentially. I can't get inside there to paint very well because of the bushings I installed and so I had a can of pour 15 that welded itself shut so I've poured a bit of it in each one of those uh, sections and then saran wrapped it closed. I'm going to toss it all around, make sure it's coated well. So that section there is a blind hole. I can get to it through the bottom, but the top is sealed. And these sections here, um, I can get through top and bottom, but I want to make sure they're rust proofed. But getting in there with a the paintbrush would be hard, obviously. I found a clever idea. These are a small two inch paint roller and I've just skewered on the end of a piece of scrap uh, what is this? Brake line tubing. A little extra from my project so I'm going to use this to get all in there. Okay so there's a few coats of pour 15 and a couple coats of black flat black. Uh, these areas that mount in the frame could get full of, packed full of mud eventually and so I just filled them with expanding foam. I'll trim that nice and flush and then mount it up. Just making sure it still fits in the wheel with the paint and then I hoisted it up and wiggled it around until I got the bolt holes to line up and bolted it all in place and then I tested out a uh, 4 to 1 pulley system to see if that would work for mounting the spare and it does although I'll probably go to a 6 to 1 for for real world use I still want to make a gas filler neck bracket which will mount on there that way I don't need to have it tied up and we got her all done just in time to go camping for my birthday. We went up north where there's still quite a bit of snow and played around trying to get stuck. Alas, we did not and had a great time. A little bit of snow, not too bad. And for today's extra content, we finally solved our vibration issues. We always thought it was wheels and tires, but uh, I noticed I had a crack in one of my U-joint C-cups, and when they pulled it out, it was much worse than I could have imagined. So I uh, got new Spicer U-joints put in, nipples. and uh, I'd like to thank Tom and Clay at Truckline Parts in Saskatoon did a fantastic job and managed to squeeze me in in between other jobs they had on the go so I really appreciate that in closing I'd like to thank all my new subscribers it just fascinates me that every week I get two or three new notifications saying I've got new subscribers so thanks all for following along we'll see you next time